Hello everybody and welcome to another video about Sirius Amiga software. So today we are looking at digital organizers and specifically I'm looking at a product called Digita Organizer. This is version 2 which was released uh, around about 1995-96. I believe this is 1996 the disc that I got. And so what, what does this software do? Well, it, it helps you organize things. If you remember back in the days of the 90s, the file fax was all the rage and how to get organized. And it was it was kind of, file fax was a precursor to PDAs. And really, this software was kind of merge of PDAs. And nowadays, everything is run off of our smartphones, isn't it? So maybe not as useful today, but if you want to try something different in organizing uh something or just just love using the amiga and want to get organized then let's take this for a spin i had a look on the eba uh, forums and uh, i was able to uh, get a copy of this software and as well it does require a key um, so i'll show you that in just a moment if you want to follow along and and try this software out yourself try to open it up it says set a date and time now this is really useful for those of us that are on a real mega that haven't got a real time clock so we can always set the clock when we're opening up the software but we're running in emulation today so it, it's got the correct time for me and yeah it's recognized that it's 2023 that's good no millennium bug here folks so this is the main layout um, when it opens up and it is very much like a kind of ring binder layout if you don't know what a file of facts is and you've got these dividers basically for the different sections of the software so uh, along the left hand side you've got a nice toolbar here and you've got some menus at the top we'll go over those in just a bit and then if you right click you've got tons of different options here so you can auto save as well as you go along that's very handy and any sentence that you change yeah obviously you can you can save all of that so let's let's save um, a a organizer so by default it just opens up with a blank one called untitled so I'm just gonna call this one um, test I know what are we gonna do with this so it's it's picked out my day it's Thursday today um, I'm gonna to be making a YouTube video so what I can do in my diary if I know something's happening say at seven o'clock I know that I need to uh, prepare dinner so I can basically double click in in the white area on Thursday I'm typing in my title of dinner um, any notes as well that I want to uh, put in as well it's filled in the date for me but it hasn't filled in the time so actually I'm gonna type in 1900 seven o'clock and we've got a few options here so we can make it a priority so dinner is quite a priority here um, and end time do we know when dinner is going to end probably most probably 8 8 p.m. so let's try typing it in via that as well so there we go it's filled in it knows that it's between 7 and 8 p.m. that there's dinner now we've got options like an alarm so we could set an alarm like 10 minutes before uh, so um, it shows me whether I need to uh, do dinner so uh, let, let's change that to 30 minutes because I want to be well prepared for dinner uh, maybe even 35 minutes so if we change that yes the alarm will go off in just under three minutes time to warn me okay so alarm is set maybe i want to do dinner every thursday sounds like a good idea uh, we can repeat that um, every week is is uh, dinner time and these are all the times and we can say until a certain time or uh, yeah basically sort of like forever have dinner so set a repeat and then we've got an option called auto start now I'll show you later on what that does but we're not going to need that for dinner so uh, let's click on OK and there we go it's appeared in our calendar 7 to 8 p.m. is dinner fantastic and hopefully um, at 625 it's going to warn me about dinner so that's a basic diary and you've got these little curl curled pages here basically you can click on 
and you can skip through the calendar now because we did a repeat obviously that's that's showing on every day but if we go back there we go on the 11th last week there was no dinner so what other layouts have we got here so along the top here uh, we've got different layouts of how we want our calendar. Maybe we're really, really busy and we want a day per sheet. That can be done. The next view, um, this is more for sort of like if you work Monday to Friday, so the weekends are less important regards your calendar. Then you've got that layout. Um, then the third one along is the layout that we started off with where each day is given um, kind of it, it, its own kind of height and importance and then there's a uh, gap at the bottom and then the other one is basically putting a week on each page so this is last week this is week this week here so we've got that so uh, we've got uh, then the options for our alarm well our alarm set we don't have to worry about that we've got the repeat now these options are only for the things that are uh, selected so you'll see the little dots underneath um, this item dinner that means that it's selected at the moment so we can choose these different options here based on that and as well the trash can as you can imagine was delete din dinner we don't want to delete dinner we want to eat it let's move on to the diary or actually let's go back to the calendar so the calendar is nice kind of view to just sort of like get a gauge of actually where are we in this in this year and next tasks so task list we can double click on this blank page and go okay i need to make a make a youtube video so make youtube video uh, what's the priority on that that's that's pretty high priority because i haven't done one in quite a while uh, when's the due date well let's say today so what's handy is you can just say today and then it picks up that that is thursday which is today you know tomorrow friday um, i'm gonna say that i want to try and make a video by today and then you've got a little completed tick if if you've completed it obviously i haven't once you have completed making the youtube video you just click there and tick it it's a nice little checklist for for making things and you got high priority tasks here so as, as you build up more things and class the priority it, it drags things up to the top that are more priority so maybe a low priority is that i need to uh, take out the bins for example and i need to do that tomorrow um, there we go and that's a low priority there so that's uh, tasks lays it out nice and neat and everything uh, you can put some little notes in here, but yeah, it's a little bit limited on exactly how much you can put in there. Um, so what we've got addresses, right? So uh, basically, uh, yeah, we we could fill up all the kind of addresses here with maybe uh, have an address for Apple. Um, and what is their address? Let, let, let's just um, quickly look up Apple's. Apple's um, address. So yeah, Apple and one um, uh, the uh, Piazza um, London town. Well, it's a city, but London County um, County of. Well, we'll leave that. And the postcode is uh, WC two E. 8HB and the country in the UK so we can put in a telephone number um, let's give their actual number do, 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 do. you can phone Apple if you want I don't know what they'll say but there we go if, if I ever need to contact Apple uh, I've got it in in my details there so, and the last one is supplements. So let me try and explain that to you outside of this program. So in the folder, uh, you've got supplement storage 96, and in here is loads of extra sheets. Now in Filofaxes, you, you could sort of like put in extra sheets with useful information in it. So if we go to other, there's useful addresses that we could go to, um, or a mixture. Now. 
what you do is you go through this supplements storage folder and you drag it into the supplements folder. So within here are all the active supplement sheets that I've chosen. So we've got a conversions table, we've got a general home hints, I'll probably need that. Um, world time zones as well, maybe that comes in handy. Motor licensing plates, that's going to be a laugh from, because that's from 1996. If I keep click on supplements, you'll see, there we go, there's my conversion table. And I just flick through the pages with the little curled up page. Uh, conversions, all handy stuff actually temperature wise definitely when I'm sort of like watching American vid videos and they say oh it's 17 de 70 degrees I'm like what's that well it's about 20 Celsius uh, general hints there's some general hints on um, the home uh, I selected installing supplements that tells you how to install them uh, motoring license uh, plates well there we go so uh, if we've got I think this is changed now because the UK is not really GB anymore um, that's got to be under Great Britain isn't it Great Britain GB yeah no it's actually UK now uh, changed some years back so but I still see number plates with GB on them anyway so that's some Useful information probably in 1996, maybe not now. Um, so supplement information there. Uh, actually, did we have our reminder? Did that actually work? Um, our alarm. Show on-screen reminder. Ah, oh, I forgot to tick that. So actually, yeah, let's, let's reset our alarm so uh, that it is, say, 28 minutes. So that's going to go off very soon and then OK. So at 6.32 our alarm should go off for us to, to warn us that we need to prepare for dinner. So I'll try and carry on. Um, so yeah, you can open your organizer so you can have multiple organizers for various different things. I'll cancel it on, on the, at the moment. And then the folder down obviously means that you save, obviously save regularly on that. If you've got a printer attached to your Amiga as well, you can print out your calendar, maybe useful. Oh, there we go. Here's our reminders popped up. Reminder, dinner, brilliant. Okay, thank you very much. Right, I'll have to do that in a bit. I want to finish the video first. Right, so what are the other icons here? So we've got a calendar thing here. So this is just a quick, easy way to sort of like um, make an event. So you can click on that and then just type in and start making your event. So maybe uh, watch, watch some TV um, and I'm probably going to do that at 8 p.m. So let's just try typing that in, see if that works. Yeah, 8 p.m. watch TV, recognize that, brilliant. And we've got another item, brilliant. Okay, and then we can click on, say, this icon over here, and that just brings us over to the, to the tasks and makes a new task for us. So these are little, like, like quick links to, um, to make stuff and do stuff. So and the next calendar that's got a big 16 on it, it's basically where you can jump to a date. So maybe I want to go to the 1st of May. So we go to there and there we go. That was a Monday, 1st of May. I can look and see what I was doing there. Not a lot. Uh, the torch, as you can imagine, is a find. So we can search on any of the different things. So maybe I know in my diary somewhere, I am swear that I had dinner. So let's search for dinner, find, there we go that's when I had dinner so that's a find tool there and then what if for example I select that uh, maybe we'll select the watch TV I'm gonna delete um, that by using the trash can are you sure yeah let's delete the TV oh I didn't mean to do that well don't worry we've got an undo I click on that and it restores the previous thing that I just deleted and the question mark as you can imagine opens up a nice organizer help page and everything so um, I promised one thing that we'll go have a look at and that was the auto start so what does that do so let's go back to um, our Amiga 
and I'm going to find a program. So say for example, maybe paint, uh, P paint. Actually, let's try that. Yeah, let's try P paint. So uh, we'll make a note. So it's it's in my DH0. It's under a folder called programs, under a folder called P paint, and then P paint is the program. Remember all of that? Good. Right, so let's go back. So uh, do some drawing. I need to do some drawing. And I need to do that at 6. 37 which is in two minutes time okay do some drawing I'm going to do an auto start and what's the command so you can choose select oh yeah we don't we don't have to exactly remember where it was because it allows us to choose it which is really handy let's go to programs uh, let's go to p paint select p paint so, and you can add any arguments in there if you want it to open up any specific things. Ask before starting. I guess we could just in case we're in the middle of something and we can test the auto start if we want. But I tell you what, I'm going to say ask before starting. No, I just want it to open up paint. So let's click on OK. Let's okay, click on OK on that. And then, right, we're going to do some join very soon. So let's wait and see what happens. Definitely a very long minute. But hopefully that's going to tick over to 637 soon. And there we go. Wow, I'm now in paint. Fantastic. So you can schedule something to happen on your Amiga, uh, really, and powerful automation. Really cool. So I'm going to draw a nice smiley face because I did say I was going to draw something. Um, actually, no, that, that's pr pretty horrific, isn't it? Okay, let's quit. I've done enough drawing, and I've done my thing, and there we go. So hopefully um, I've I've not wasted too much of your time, and this is uh, Digital Organizer 2 on the Amiga. Uh, it's for a good bit of laugh, and actually, for, for serious sake, you, you could uh, organize quite a lot of stuff on this, and if you use the Amiga a lot, and have it always powered on, then actually it's a handy little organizer really to have in the corner of the room and just um, organizing various different things. So thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Take care.